Hey, what is up guys? My name is Jonathan. Hope you're doing good. And uh, I'm just gonna quickly cover how to render <clears throat> a wireframe layer. I'm both in V-Ray and Mental Ray in 3ds Max. Uh, it's just a great way to show off your topology um, on your models and uh, you know, and, and just showcase your all your modeling skills and, and your poly counts. So um, right now, yeah, we'll start off with V-Ray and I'm gonna try and make this very straightforward. Um, very quick for you, so you know you just get your get your results quick and um, get back to working on your project. So, all right, start with a little sphere here, and um, very very simple. Now, V-Ray, what we need to do is what's the difference between V-Ray and Mental Ray? Mental Ray, you can straight up do it self-illuminated. You can kind of do it in, in V-Ray, but the results really aren't that good. So, what I find to do is let's just create a light. I'm going to V-Ray light and um, Seems, seems to work out the best. Anyway, so we'll create a light here. I'm gonna switch it to dome. And uh, I found a multiplier 20 to be solid. What I'll kind of do too is um, you know, make sure that's in your target radius. So, which it is right now, but I'll bump it up a little bit. So we'll go to uh, dome light here, whatever target radius or emission, or emit radius too. We'll just kind of bump that up. You just want that in your model. Um, and then we want spherical full dome right there. And that's it, really. That's all set and ready to rock. So now um, let's put our material on it. And um, go over here to our slate material editor. And and you'll see what I have here is, and I'll, and I'll show you this too. It's, it's very, very handy to have presets. You know, I don't, like when I want, want to do a wireframe, I don't want to have to create the material from scratch every time. So I, what I do is I create it once, I save it over here, and um, you're good to go. But the tutorial here, let's uh, start from scratch. So I'm gonna go to V-Ray and we're gonna use a V-Ray, just a regular V-Ray material. And now for our diffuse map, we're going to use a V-Ray, uh, V-Ray edges text. And that's it there. And it starts out as white. I usually go uh, white on black. It usually turns out real well, but there's a lot of different ways you can do. Um, you know, so that, that looks cool. Actually, sometimes too, what people will do, and I think it looks great, is blue. Blue on white looks 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 really good. But, um, but yeah, yeah. And, and then the thickness by default is usually good enough, um, unless you're doing something crazy. Um, usually, what they have is exactly what you want. So you don't want to have to really mess with anything. Um, actually, I'm gonna switch that back to black. I usually just like to go black on white. And let's go back to the material. And let's take this diffuse material and let's just jack it up full white. Um, now see what I was talking about. I was bringing up that, yeah, yeah mental ray, you can straight up self-illuminate. Um, V-ray, it, it really doesn't work. So I tried that in the past where I just bumped up my self -illume and with with the uh, edges. And it just really wasn't working. It wasn't popping enough. Um, and honestly, you could probably do this stuff without GI, but I'll just leave it on. Um, so that, that really is it right there. So... Um, and, and I'll show you real quick since I, since I was talking about material uh, material groups presets there. Um, let's just jack it on our model here. We'll go so select the model and we'll add the selection there. So we got it. Um, you're not really going to see anything. It's just going to be blacked out. That's fine. But now that we have the material selected, what we can do, we come down here to scene materials. And for this purpose, I'll name it real quick. And we'll just call it... Uh, V-Ray test, uh, wireframe. that's cool. All right, so now we see it right down here, V-Ray test wireframe. So what we can do is we'll click this right here. We're gonna go new material library and it's gonna take you to whatever route you have. Um, for this purpose, let's just go test wire um, and we'll save it. And now we have this test wire material group here. So now what we do is we simply drag this and bring it up to the front and uh, pop it on that baby and boom it's there so then you can right click go right over the top here and just hit save and now it's saved so anytime you now load your program up you have it right there so you can just easily grab it drag it drop it apply it to your model and boom you're off to the races so uh, really cool um, anyway we're gonna I'm just gonna close that so uh, now we have this set up now we just got to quickly set up our 
our render settings. So we're going to open up our render setup. Forgive me, my computer is a touch slow. I look forward to an upgrade in the future. So when it comes to CPU stuff, it uh, just takes a little bit. Da -da -da -da. All right, there we go. Um, and I have presets made, render presets. Another good thing. I mean, I could go over separate tutorial and that stuff in the future. It's really handy. Um, so I'm just going to quickly jack some V-Ray settings and I'll show you really all you need with this stuff. So, um, pretty straightforward. So, sorry, once it loads up, blow this computer up. <laughs> no, just teasing. It's been, it's been old reliable. All right, so uh, you know you get your resolution here, of course, but the main things you want to look at are going to be your uh, adaptive sub subdivision image uh, sampler. If you're using adaptive subdivision, of course, right up here. Um, and usually uh, the, the default's fine. One and four usually get good results, but I like to increase the minimum just a little bit because sometimes that uh, the wireframe can be a little you know rastered out a little bit blown out and you don't really see those crisp those real crisp lines and that's what you want um, you can just fix things in post but why if you just, can just do it right um, and then the other one here is noise threshold so uh, usually I think by default it's zero one I'm not entirely sure but what you really want it to be is point zero zero one and you'll get some it'll just really uh, crisp things out so th those are really the couple settings there um, GI, you could probably go without GI on this. I haven't fully tried it. I think it would be completely fine. Um, but I'm just going to leave it on right now. It's not that big of an issue. It's not going to slow it down that much. So uh, so we're really all set here. Um, you can see it's all blown out here. I have it on realistic. Um, so yeah, there we go. And if we want to create a camera real quick, that's cool. Um, and then what I'll do, I'll render it and I'll just uh, I'll pause it and move forward. So. Um, we don't have to, you know, have to sit here and watch me render because we all know that's exciting. So uh, I'm going to pause it real quick and come back with the render. So, all right, we're back at it and, um, yeah, we, we got good results here. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is you go to your environment tab here under, uh, is it rendering, I believe. Yep. Rendering environment. Um, and what you also want to do is you, uh, you want to flat out white color for your background. So all this background is, is white and you can drop it. In. Granted, if you're doing PNG and you're rendering transparency, it's not gonna matter at all. You're not even gonna get any of that, but um, but yeah, it's it's if you go JPEG or something, something without transparency, you wanna definitely have white so you can just straight up use a multiplier uh, layer effect in Photoshop. So um, there's our result there, man. It's, it's very solid. It didn't take long to render that at all. Um, and we got good results, very good results. So that's it for uh, V-Ray. And so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reset this bad boy and we're gonna do one in Mentor Ray real quick. So uh, here we are Mentor Ray. I gotta quickly, quickly swift my, uh, switch my uh, preset here. I think my render, my renderer by default is V-Ray. So we'll sw make the switch here. And once again, sorry about the slow computer. Uh, all right, so we'll go to Mental Ray. Load that baby up. And same thing, except what's cool about this one, we don't need a light. Um, it's just what I found with the Mental Ray. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know. I have, sometimes I don't get the best results, so, it's, so I've learned to just kind of <clears throat> straight up lean on uh, V-Ray. Works out nice. So all right, again, let's rock and roll sphere. And this one we can straight up do only by materials. So let's uh, bring our material editor back up. And for this, we're going to go to materials standard. And uh, we're going to do, do composite material. So we've got a composite material there, and we have our base. Um, and uh, yeah, exactly. So, so we just need this guy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift, drag that out, and we're going to drop a second material on there. So our first material. We're going to do white and completely self illuminate it. And do white in the diffuse, and we're going to do self illumination full blown. Now, the second one, we're going to do black, and we're going to choose wire. So now you can see that, boom, we have our wireframe here, and we're, we're all set to go there. 
Um, you can use two sided sometimes if you're if some things aren't popping, but usually two sided with this stuff, I don't know, I find just causes problems. Um, some things will one, render kind of transparent with all of these wires junked up together, and you don't really want that. So, all right, anyway, there we are, and uh, let's just uh, hit that on the material here. That on the model, I should say, and then uh, control C. I guess that's not my key. <laughs> Grab camera from view. <clears throat> you can render this stuff without a camera, but it's 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 fine. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna render that quick. And uh, be back in just a second. All right, so we are back, and uh, here's here's our result now. This is why I kind of have leaned to V-Ray because the lines are a little bit lighter um, in Mental Ray. Uh, partly it could be render settings. We could always we could always come back to renderer and we could jack things up, go to the renderer and um, samples per, per pixel, we could jack that up. But I've, overall still, I've, I've seen just better results with the V-Ray wireframe. Um, Mental Ray, yes, is easier to set up. You just can do it through material. But um, yeah, I don't know. I prefer V-Ray once, once you understand it. So. Um, that's about it. What I forgot to mention again is, um, again, the environment, make sure that's white. I didn't show that in the mentor ray. Same thing. Um, that way you just have this white background. And, um, if you were to do it without transparency. So, um, that's about it guys. Very straightforward, very, very simple. And, uh, hope that helps, man. Get creating. All right. Take care.